Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Moving on to today's yeah, so, you know, we'll continue the journey, um, you know, moving on. Uh, you, you know, you can't fight crime with compassion or sympathy. You know, solving crime peace. When everyone is involved, that means, you know, boy, little girl, little boys, everyone who are involved, show their support for the security forces. We know that some police officers are corrupt. Yeah, we're not pretending as if we don't know that there are a lot of corrupt police officers. We know some of them are still serving. Some of them are gazette officers whom you can't trust. You understand? But, you know, we have to trust someone. As I've stated before, and I'll say again, um, there's an, there are several police officers in the police force that you can trust, but some you can't. And, I'm, you know, so you just have to be careful. Um, so, you know, moving on, um, this is part two of the series. Um, you know, we tell you that uh, you can't fight um, crime with compassion and sympathy. So you watch, you listen, and you decide. the police so some of the police become criminals because they realize they get protection from from the police so that's a society that we have been created in jamaica it's like a, it's a university even the people in the university in jamaica i am happy i didn't go into university today because i would not want to be so stupid like these people these people are some they are some crazy people i don't understand all oh, on god's earth a person who committed crime kill how much people, rob, rape, and when that person is killed, he becomes a victim, a murderer. That's how they treat people, criminals in Jamaica, you know. You understand? As I've said before, and I digress again, I go back, the war that Jamaica declared on America, most Jamaicans do not understand. Indicom is a retaliation, it's retaliatory measures that they have took against the United States government to extradite their their Don, strongman, Christopher Dudas Cook. Yes, back in Jamaica, most people were here, his name, you know, fear drive through people and all of that because these people are barbaric people and they are untouchables. They have access to the prime minister. You understand? This this man is, respon is responsible for thousands of Jamaican debt all over the world. Jamaicans and other people. They even kill even people from Trinidad and they will find them in Jamaica, down by Tivoli. I was a police then at Unspear when you heard of it. And they went there to find the blood and stuff like that. Never find the bodies because they said they do what they have to do with it. And that's the society that you have in Jamaica. So the propaganda that these people have been portraying against the police from have been growing up from in the 70s in Jamaica, it has reached a point now where even... Thank you. 
to tell people that they are police. That's all, that's all strong this rhetoric is against the police. Can you believe in a society in the 21st century, people will be looking up to you more if you say you're a criminal or you're a dun. But if you, if you said that you're a police officer, they look at you with scorn back in Jamaica. Because criminals in Jamaica, they are the real heroes. They are not, they are not even rubbing on you. They are the heroes. And when when they when when these people are killed, you would listen to these people and their corners, and they call it corners. You know, sidewalk. Where, you know, where they sit and the people in the community, they will boast and talk how many people, the person who was killed, how many people that that person murdered, and they talk about it as he he's fighting a war and he got killed now, so he come he's home now, so we have to give him this big funeral and. Talk about him and all that kind of stuff. That's all. That's a rhetoric back in Jamaica. So the propaganda against the police, I have noticed, growing up even to this date, there is not one news media organization back in Jamaica. Whether it's a cleaner, the observer. Wow, Mr. Cliff Hughes, yes, uh, morning. You know, I am saying hi to you. You know, people who think that you know, you know, a lot of these people, journalists, they are pro police, they are criminals pretending they hate the police more than any other thing because they have the axe to grind and they have people out there doing things to them. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not calling the names, you know? So, anyway, so, as I've said, this man, Terence Williams, he could not even keep a job in another Caribbean country when he was director of DPP. They chased him. But Jamaica is a place that we can't even have people who convicted, convicted for drug trafficking and become liars. Next thing, judge, because anything can happen in Jamaica, you know, once you're a criminal. That's how it is in Jamaica. When you're a criminal, you have status. Uh, people are educated. They are, they are the one that created the system. So, you know, you have educated criminals, educated so they know how to beat the system and stuff like that. But their job is to permanently demolish the police force. But right now, the police force is impotent in Jamaica. The police have no friends. You understand? It's more than two weeks now the court in Jamaica has ruled that in the come have no power service or prosecution. And what, what happened? Nothing. To date, I have not read one article or editorial or anything from any of the news media down there that says that why don't we release the police officers because all these crimes that they have been arrested for is wrong because the agency has no power. You cannot arrest and charge a person twice for the same offense. So if if the agency has no power for us or prosecution, why are these people still in jail? What happened to the people who are convicted? Why? Because in America, if something like that happened, you know, everything that has with that agency, everything is gone. And Jamaica is a country that we pry America, or yet still, we pry, you know, want to put ourselves like. You know, Jamaica is an American territory without American benefits. 
Because if America, if Jamaica have American laws, we'd be a better country. Big time. Because all those thieving politicians, most of them are criminals, thieves. All of the thieving politicians are crooks down there. Right now, a lot of them would be in prison. But they don't want that system. They want a system where they are the boss and they are above the law. And any police who, anybody who's investigating and they think that he's going to say they have find a way either to kill them or something or transfer them, take away the file from them. It's a criminal system. You understand? The police are not the criminals. The criminals are the politicians. Like why the Honorable Del Chuck, the real anti-police minister of minister of what what is this man is a real criminal i remember he had a, a boy that from grand spain him they call him andrew pang that's not his correct name and this man is responsible for killing a police woman you know you understand and this man delroy chuck who's the minister of national justice he is the same one you know, who went to this criminal andrew pang you know, and he said that Andrew Pang was a good man, a man who killed a police woman in, a, in her car, you understand, in Unsby police area. And when he was killed by the police, he said that that man was a good man, a man who killed people, robbed people, extorted people, in Canton Spring Police here. And that is what this minister says, that he's a good man. So I don't know, I don't know the reason. I know that this man is a man who hated police. For many years, I have never heard him say anything good about him. I don't think he. Sh I don't think he have any police around him as bodyguard, because any police who bodyguard that man have no self respect for himself, because that man do not like police. So any police who guard Del Chuck, that police, even his mother should disown him, because that man do not like you poor people, Pitney. Because the majority, that majority, every police in Jamaica, are poor people, pit, um, children. You understand, but I know since of late, you know, because they cannot, the same people whose children are educated now and they don't have any business or anything like that, the police force is the only place for them to venture into. You understand, so they create a system so they, when the children um, leave college, they have jobs in, a, in the police force. And all they do is go and sit in your condition, they don't know police work, no, they are no investigators, they know nothing. So, as I've said, Jamaica is the poorest place in the Caribbean to be a police officer. You understand? Jamaica is the only place in the world where police officers are required by law to give a statement immediately after they're in confrontation with criminals. You know, imagine you're just being through a life and death situation and if you do not if you do not give a statement, you end up in jail. That's how it is. But yet still the criminal you have a right to remain silent. And the police are not, and they have everything when it comes on to anti the anti police atmosphere. Police in Jamaica is the most hated people there. If you are done, everybody loves you. But if you are a police, majority of the people hate you because that's the way it is. As I said before, the only thing that the only thing that they um, in the people psyche there in Jamaica one. To become a dan, a DJ, a DJ, a singer, and a footballer. Well, not even so much a footballer, but especially a dan. Because the dan, those are the people that the people look up to. I don't think that dan is like dan king in America that, you know, elevate people life. Dan in Jamaica are people that destroy life. They sit, they decide who, who live, who die, who get raped, who get robbed, and who get extort. So, as I said, this channel is not for the criminals in Jamaica. This is for the police. And I am anti-criminal, anti-PNP, anti-GLP. I don't like none of them. Have, none of them has contributed anything to the people's life more than destruction. And this anti-police rhetoric that they have been for years, when they are the ones who are the real criminals. You understand? But every now and then I'll you know I'll touch touch base with the people back home, not the criminals. Because if it's for me, if it's up to me, preemptive strike like what the American government with drones. You're a criminal, 
I do not believe you want to call it extrajudicial killing or what. We don't call it that in America. We call it preemptive strike. You kill people and we know that you're going to kill again. Yes, we send a drone and come and kill you. You understand? Whether you're in the mountains, a blue mountain in Jamaica or wherever, we don't just, we just use drones like how they, or America would uh, America do it and Israel. Criminal must not sleep and live in peace. No criminal that's supposed to go to them bed at night and feel comfortable. Criminal supposed to live in fear. Every time you look at the gun to take it up, he must be is either when he pick up the gun, you know that this is the last day I'm, I'm gonna live. Or he knows that if he whenever he commits his crime and he's caught, he's going to prison and he's going away for a long, long, long time. And when he go to prison, he's not gonna be there playing ludic and all kind of games in prison. He's going to prison and he's going to work 12 hours a day, sometimes 14, 7 days a week. The only rest he gets is to sleep. You tell him he knows what time he goes to bed, what time he wakes up, what time he eats. You understand? And no, at no time, there's no communication, there's nothing for the, and for people to come there. It's like an highland, within a highland. They have to pay a toll to come there. You understand? That's how it's supposed to be. So, I know that the Jamaican government is not interested in rehabilitating these parasites. Because they are not criminals, they are parasites. Because one God's earth would kill a woman who is pregnant, chase down a woman in the middle of the day, and murder her. Murder her. Kill a little baby. You understand? Only in Jamaica because these people, they are parasites. They are the prey of mind, unconscionable people. And these are the protected people. So, this is my... It's in a matter of time. If the terrorists back in the Middle East and Africa want to migrate and get closer to America, Jamaica is the ideal place because in Jamaica, the police are impotent. They have no powers, none whatsoever. The police are afraid of themselves because the least little thing, they go to jail. The police, if you watch and you will see all these people back in Jamaica, police try to arrest somebody. The people mob the police and guess what? Nothing happened to them. It's not like in America if you assault a police. You go to prison. In Jamaica you don't that don't happen to assault any police in his uniform or during the course of his duty. You assault a police in Jamaica, you might you will you more or less you will get an award from the government from for that. That's how it is in Jamaica. So there's nothing to do de- there's everything there to promote people to be criminals. You understand? So it's a matter of time. We have seen the criminals, they have used grenade, grenade in Jamaica. So it's a matter of time before they have IED. So we have seen the Muslim, they are migrating, and the Chinese to Jamaica. So eventually, don't worry. They are going to teach these boys how to make IED bombs. You know? And you see, when one of these big boys, an elitist uptown, when one of the vehicles get blown up, just like how oh, you see what happened in Iraq and Afghanistan and all those places in the Muslim world, that's when it's too late because it's not far for Jamaica to be a field state. And I have seen it as a field state because any society where you have the police force has to be occupying a community. That is a, that is a community that is, under, that is in war. It's a war within the community that you have police have to be an occupying force. To maintain the peace. So, so all the people can fool themselves. Jamaica nice and Jamaica this. That is our garbage. Jamaica is not nice. It's stupidity all you people talking about. But Jamaica is nice, and I want to go back home. You can go there. Most of the Jamaican who, <laughs> most of the Jamaicans I know, do not want to go back there. Only the stupid ones, them, the ones who do not have any sense and. Who want to go there because they are a part of the criminal el- criminality that's going on there. As I've said before, you know, all the best. Why tomorrow is Easter? You know, why? I don't know. But the only thing I can tell the police is just be your brothers and sisters keeper. Explain the core. You have nobody but yourselves in Jamaica. The Prime Minister do not like you. Dr. Peter Phillips, of course, do not like you. There's none. The only person since of late that I have seen is Lambert born and is very and, and I really applaud him for his statement that he had made in um the other day. 
And you know, Mr. Finzi said what he said, but I applaud Mr. Brown for standing up for the police. That they are the only people in Jamaica who are standing up for um, against these parasites. At one time, I, you know, I was looking, you know, I know it was because of it why they kick out Damon Crawford because Damon Crawford said that Indicom is contributing to the crime thing in Jamaica and this egoistic labor right man. This man is an active, is an enemy of the United States of America, Terence Williams, criminal. If you notice, even the act that they had passed there in Jamaica, it's it's handcuffed the Jamaican police to cooperate with the American police in such a way that if they are trying to cooperate with them, it has to go through uh, Terence Williams, the criminal. But that's how it is in Jamaica. If you're not a criminal, you cannot get elevated. You know, and right now, just the last thing I'm going to touch on. I've seen over the years. You know, these people keep chipping away at the police force. This is the third member of the Jamaican Defense Force that they have installed in the police force. I, as a young man, as I said, I joined the, I left high school and went to the academy as a cadet. That's how much I love the police force. So what these people are doing now, the elitists and the criminals uptown, they are the ones who control the, the, the laws and everything and implement everything in Jamaica. So now what they did, they put one of their friends. This is the third member of the Jamaica Defense Force to lead the police force. And I am in, I am begging every member of the Jamaican police force, do not support this man. If he wanted to be a police, he should have been to the academy, just like me, when I was 17 and much. When all of my friends were still going to high school in St. Mary's College, a Catholic school, I was at the academy because I wanted to be a police. So if I had, had you know, aspired to be a commissioner of police, these people are telling young men and women, do not look at these seats. You have to be in the in the army. And the, peop the people in the army in Jamaica, they do no, no police work. They don't do no, nothing. All they do is just train and eat and all that thing. These people are lazy. They do not understand. So if the, if you people support this man and let the crime, crime rate goes down, you can kiss it goodbye. Make sure this man fail miserably. I am, I was born in Jamaica. And I'm a Jamaican, and I and I do not support this man at no time. You cannot have a plumber to do a baker's job. You understand, or vice versa. This man was in the army. Number one, he could not get a job here in here in America where I'm living because he has no law enforcement experience. Because for you to apply for a job to get it, first the first criteria is law enforcement. This man had been to the Jamaica Police Academy to train. So he doesn't know anything about the law. So this is what is on the job training, and you have, so you are telling me that you have over ten thousand people in the Jamaican and, and none of them is qualified to lead the force. So my dad will you disband it then and turn it and give it hand it over to the army because I have seen what they are doing. You know? They keep disrespecting the police, you know? but most of them they are so literary and lackeys and they love to kiss us and all of those things. I never used to kiss none of these politicians. I never liked them. Period. None of them. I used to work at Hunsby. And Andrew Owens cannot say that he knows me. I was one police who never tried to friend him or tried to know him or anything like that. Because I do not like politicians. Because I know what people like him was doing in my police division. So all of these people pretend, I know that these people do not like police. You know? I know the, the most of the politicians do not like police. Because they, they have to have their henchmen, their criminals, to oppress the people. Because most of these people you know, live in jungle. Reem, all of those people, they are hostages in their own community. So all these people up to know are anti-police. I would like them to spend a month or a week in those communities. You understand? I have. You understand what I'm saying? Because I used to live in jungle. People in jungle know me. Yeah, and I still have family who live in Jonestown. As I said, I am begging every member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force from the DC all the way up to the DCP. Do not support Mr. Anderson. Make sure that he feel miserably. Number one police. If this man do, does not fail, they are coming at you people again. You know. So all of those old, old men, you know, lackeys who are there, you can kiss that chair goodbye because they are going to save it for the bona people who uptown who is a part of them. You see, he was, he's the Prime Minister, National Security Advisor. Security Advisor for what? Who's Jamaica warring against? What kind of intelligence that we get in another country that you need Security Advisor? All of these creating more, more um, jobs for your friends. 
You understand what I'm saying? Every minute they create more agency. Big government, big spending. You understand? They don't tighten that. They don't try to try to minimize the debt. All they do is increase it. Make sure that this man feel miserable. Let the boys then do what they want to do. Look, self-preservation. A policeman, a detective, I'm not going to call his name. The other day, he was, last year, he told me, he was in Linstead. Hard-working police, a uh, uh, play, play police. And he had witnessed a murder where a, a man was killed in Linstead. He's not from Linstead, but he told me, before before it even, um, it was widespread on WhatsApp or something, he called me and said, Porter, you know, what am I just see a boy, you know, does all that. And like, not, you know, and like, let him still do it. You know? When he said, what he mean that he could take him and he could challenge a gunman? But he says, the first thing that comes in mind, I don't have any money to pay in the come. And I am going to migrate. My papers come through. And me and my family is going to migrate. Why? Why? Why am I going to put myself in this problem? That was seconds thought about it. And he said, just make sure you watch the guy until he went in the vehicle and the vehicle drove off. And he called me and tell me. And he says, you know, honestly, the boy, you know, I don't know who did, but the reason why I didn't do it, it's self-preservation. I am not on duty, and nobody knows that I am a police officer and anything like that. And that, that was easy, easy thing for me, because I have, mapped, I have, you know, the situation with the, the gunmen, the ones in the car, I could take them on, all of them. And, you know, but to preserve myself, I don't have any money to give them, because the money that I had was to migrate with my, with my wife and my kids. And you know, you understand. So that was it. So all those Carolyn Gomes, the doctor who live up town, all of these people who are poor criminals. You know, it would be nice, you know. Honestly, I can tell you, you know, as somebody who's from the ghetto, all of these people, if their addresses are out there, you know, WhatsApp is a thing that travel like fire. All it's simple to do. You know, all of these people, Terence Williams, Carolyn Gomes, all the criminal, um, um, Goffa, what you want to name, all of these people, if the criminals, I can't tell it, if these people, if you have text messaging that going on, but, because Carolyn Gomes, um, have more five armed security guard, guns at this address, that, 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 and it's on, on, on WhatsApp, I am telling you. Those boys downtown, you know, they be coming to your houses for those guns, you know. So don't think that, and you and you can see it that you're a criminal protector. You understand? So as I said, this is no platform for criminals. I have zero tolerance, zero love for criminals. Every criminal must live in constant fear for their life. No criminal must not go to in bed and sleep comfortably. Even when he's sleeping, he's supposed to be fretting. No criminal or anyone who have gone. You understand? So, as I've said, and I've said again, Jamaican people do not know their real enemy. Your real enemy is both political parties and the same people who are so-called dance in your community. These dance, they are parasites. All of them. You understand what I'm saying? None of them, they are not your friends. All the people that live in all these communities are hostages because people do not know. They don't live in these communities. When people have their, their daughters and these boys, they want them. And if the father or the mother do not want them to molest, they kill them. And what they say, all in form of a death. So the same people who are saying in form of a death. If a man come and rape your mother, your sister, your daughter, your grandmother, they must not report it. So you're saying that it's okay for somebody to rape your sister, your mother, your daughter, your girlfriend, and that's it. So they must keep it to themselves and suck it up because you people are immoral and conscious and depraved mind parasites. And to you, Mr. Wallace, what you're doing, you're not doing anything that benefiting the, peer, the people in Jamaica. All you and, and Mr. Roger Clark, oh, Peter Phillips, not Roger Clark. Roger Clark dead, but too big to, you know, you understand, that's why I say Roger Clark. So, these people, they are enemies of the Jamaican people. They are not friends. So, as I said, police, self-preservation, 
if a, if you get a call from 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 control or dispatch, I don't know if they call it dispatch down there now. If you get a call from control shooting robbery, you take the longest road and keep on the siren. I remember you know, a detective used to tell me you, know, you can stay there. You know. It's self preservation. You know. He said today you're dead and them come and them give your family a big funeral and them thing there. He said tomorrow a ten year later I'll take them to get the money. You understand what I'm saying? So self preservation, me come and work and me expect for God. If you want to go shoot boy and them thing and I shoot out with boy, you can go in one next week, but once in my vehicle, me I do everything for minimize that. Me ain't no problem with the body. God them now for them now kill me and rob me, me alright. So police make sure. Make sure Mr. Anderson feel I feel miserably. You understand? I make sure they get in the car about uptown you know, or any address or them thing. You know. Make sure they say the house where the criminal them go and them thing. You know. You're supposed to know a police here and you take the longest road. You understand? These people are your enemy. All of them. Most of them uptown. Because to date, not one of them, not one of these so called elitist professors and all those people come out in support of the police. You understand? So remember, don't support Major Anderson. Let him, if he wants to be a police, he should have been to the Jamaica Police Academy, been through all the ropes, eat all jewel and all them things, and bird. He don't know that. You understand? Working at the poor condition, you would feel to get paid today, and broke today, and tomorrow after the police said that going to borrow money to buy food. You understand? Make him you know feel of working a cell. You understand? A dirty boy got you all kind of thing for you and if you don't know if you angle yourself over there. You understand? Make him off the beat, patrol. Yeah, so you know the number because stream a big time labor right and connected to um St. Andrew the only one. You understand? Him come and sit in at this chair. And okay man, don't support him man. If you notice, even the government have disrespect them, they keep disrespecting you guys, you know. Because you notice, you see the outline is for the JDF. So what they're saying that you know. They, they, they are cultivating, they are ratcheting up the attack against you people, you know, you don't even see it, you know. And you want to see big old lucky and old uh, beast man them in the police force, they, you know, smiling. You understand? When it's the military. The only time a military is supposed to be up front is when you have war. Military have nothing to do with security of the country. You understand? So what, what, what they have been doing you know, is propelling the military. So might as well, they must have a code then. Because they are the one that promoted the military and putting the military up there, you know. And these guys is going to get a taste of power. You understand? But I've said to every member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force from D.C. all the way. You know, we have come to the end of this presentation. As um, This is the, you have heard the reason why, the reasons why we have started this channel. Yes. You know, you're, you know, and one of the main reasons, you know, um, the channel you know, started this channel, is to address the beauty and disrespect shown by the government then, when they appointed Major Anthony Anderson as the Commissioner of Police. This man has no law enforcement experience or certification, highlighting a deep-seated issue within the political machinery in Jamaica. You know, this decision underscore a lack of regard for the professionalism and expertise need, needed to lead our police force effectively. So, you know, our channel, the Jamaica Young Police Channel, stand as a testimony, testament to our commitment to justice and integrity. We aim to shine a light on these injustices and advocate for leadership that truly understand, understands the respect and complexity of law enforcement. You know, Sir Porter, an unwavering patriot, is not beholden to any political party or individual in Jamaica. His dedication to our country and its people is the driving force behind our mission here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel. So join us as we work to hold our leaders accountable and strive for a safer and more equitable Jamaica. Together we can make a difference and ensure that our law enforcement is led by a genuinely qualified people committed to serving and protecting our communities. That was back then. You know, right now we have a commissioner of police where he can, um, he did not come through the ranks, you know, that um, favoritism, cronyism, you, you understand, uh, nepotism, that's how he, he joined the police force after, um, you know, attaining the age of 
32. When I had joined the police force, you could not, um, after 30. But you know, the PMP criminal organization, because they do not know to create a job, they extend the age to 40. And I think that is a disservice. Oh, somebody had 40 years old for joining the police force. You know, that is just crazy. Whole man. That's why you have some people, 49, they're a concept. And you're like, oh. You realize them just have nine year service, you know. When I had nine year service, I was even with 30. But that was to show you that how they destroy the police force and make it, and even for their friends and their friends' children who cannot find any job in the public sec in the public and private sector. So, and you have likely heard about the launch of our channel and the story behind Sir Porter's lifelong ambition to become a police officer, particularly a detective. So, from a young age, you know, um, Sir Porter about a deep aversion to cr criminal. Yeah, man, I have a deep-seated hatred for them. Yeah, I don't like them. Especially those who believe that they can harm others without facing any consequences, such as lawlessness, contradicts the fundamental human rights to live freely and safely. However, it is crucial to acknowledge that not everyone in Jamaica who possesses an illegal firearm intends to commit a crime. Often, these individuals are forced into this situation by systemic biases against them based on their place of residence. So, you know, you know, a man who lives in a Jonestown or a jungle, and they say, I don't like George Pong. And George Pong alone in a Jonestown, Kinson 12, have a license on. No, no one else. And he live in a Jonestown. Because most of the time, that's where he stay. Because that's a place where he feel safe. Because he wants to be around the people. You understand? Although some of them don't like him, some love him. I just say, go. So, this form of discrimination punishes people for circumstances beyond their control. Like where they were born and raised. And I believe that, yeah, this is my thing. When I said some police, boy, I mean, a madman. No. I said, boy, if a man living at them in a garrison and you know, a criminal conviction or anything like that, and you want to give him, give him the license gun, because whether or not you want to believe it, these are the same people who get rid of the gunmen, them. You understand? People who are living in these communities and do not have license for them, and they have illegal guns, they are not criminals, you know, they just have it to defend themselves and their family from men who want to break into their house and rape their wives or their children or their daughters. Yes, I know people who live in a Jonestown and jungle who have illegal guns, even to that day. I know them. Uh, yeah, in farmer, but I don't deserve, you know, these people don't deserve to be in farmer because they are decent citizens. Grown, you understand. Elderly men now, but back then they were young. These people don't support criminality and they just have the guns to protect themselves. So the real tragedy is that those who perpetrate these biases claim to be educated and intelligent yet fail to respect every human life, intrinsic value. Every person, regardless of their background, deserves the same respect and opportunities as the most educated individuals and the political elites in Jamaica. It is this underlying discrimination and systemic inequality that significant contribute to crime problem in our country. So by becoming a detective, you know, so I propose an aim to address these injustices and work towards a safer and more equitable society. Our channel will shed light on these issues, advocating for a system that treats all Jamaicans with the dignity and respect they deserve. So join us in this mission to bring about meaningful change and ensure impartial justice. And as we said before, and we continue to say it again, we just want back our country, we want back Jamaica, we want it back from these people. Yeah, and we said these people, we are thought the criminals, them. Yeah, this, you understand, the ones that are sympathetic to criminals and all these, but in for the criminals, them. Them know themselves, you know, these people know themselves. And they are the ones who are against the law abiding citizens. So, have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.